93 boxing i'm back with a quick video chris eubank jr is fighting arthur abraham this saturday and i want to give my well let's see i want to give my predictions i might give my keys to victory as well let's get into it so arthur abraham over this this fight is happening at 168 by the way yeah arthur abraham He's a, he's been at 168 for for longer than Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank used to be at 160 for a long time, and Chris Eubank hasn't really has faced some opposition. Like he fought Billy Joe Saunders. That's one of the first people I can think of. Like that's probably his best opposition anyway that he faced. This is going to be the best opposition that he's going to be facing like in his whole career so far. And plus he's moving up, so this makes it a bit more, bit difficult in a way for Chris Eubank Jr. Because I think he moved up not too long ago. So, um, yeah, and also I don't think his power has carried up how I think he should have carried up. But Arthur Abraham, he himself is a big puncher. He's been up against uh, really good fighters. I believe he's been up there with one of the Darrell... With Andre Durrell, I believe. He's been with Andre Ward. That's the main that's the main person, right? When you're with Andre Ward, you get a lot of experience. Because he's one of the best fighters out there. So I feel like Arthur Abram has some experience, some good experience on the higher level. That's an advantage to Arthur Abraham. As I said, Arthur Abram's a big puncher. He really looks like a really serious puncher. Um, and if Eubank's not careful, and if Eubank tries to bang with people... Because um, Eubank does try to bang with people at times. That's not a smart move on Arthur Abraham. I know Eubank seems to have a good chin. But I've not seen his chin tested too heavily. On a higher level. And at a higher weight. This is actually a good fight. And the winner of this will end up in the Super 8. Which I'm actually definitely looking forward to it. Now. Chris Eubank. As he's moving up, it's safe to say that he can be hurt. He, I mean, anyone can be hurt, but I think it's more likely to be hurt than any other fight that he's faced in. So I feel like he has to box intelligent. He has to kind of be a boxer puncher. He might, you know, maybe with high work rate here and there, he has to jab straight down the pipe punches. And also, I feel like he should be on the long range and he should be... In close range, at very, very, very close range, I'm talking about where he lets go of the uppercut and things like that. Because I feel like Arthur Abraham, his best range is like the mid range punching, the mid punching range where he's he lets off really powerful and in combinations as well. I feel like Chris Eubank might be a little bit faster, a little bit sharper, a bit better reflex. He's the better boxer, he's definitely the better boxer. He needs to box. He has to box. He has to punch. Um, you know, Chris Eubank doesn't really have the most amount of power, but he's sharp. He's sharp with the punch. He can be a bit elusive. And, you know, sometimes the punches you don't see coming can hurt you. So, you know, Arthur Abraham himself cannot underestimate his power either. But Chris Eubank has to be like, he has to box. He has to move. He has to um, get his fundamentals ready. The reason why I say this is because stylistically I've seen Eubank. He boxes but he kind of bangs. He's a very aggressive boxer puncher. And you know, But he's a bit of a brawler as well. He's a very... You know, you brawl with him. Like Billy Joe Saunders. If he was brawling with Eubank, he would have got knocked out straight up. And... Um, I feel like this is not a good idea to brawl with Arthur Abraham. With the punching power at a higher weight. Now, one another thing Chris Eubank has to do is he has to back Arthur Abraham up, not by being aggressive, by being intelligent. He can be aggressive, but he has to he has to aggressively box if he wants to be aggressive. And I think that's a better strategy uh, strategy to uh, implement in the fight. He has to box him, hit him with shots, and back him up. That's how Andrew Ward was able to have success when Arthur Abraham was getting backed up. He couldn't. He really didn't have any answers. He's not a guy that prefers fighting on the back foot. Really, is not. And if he does those, he should be fine. He should be able to. He should jab. He should move, move around, feint on the inside. Do a lot, you know, uppercuts and 
fight on the very very inside but avoid the mid range um don't go off balance the way Eubank sometimes feigns and everything he can I'm just thinking if he gets caught like that he can be off balance because Arthur Abram seems he seems like he's a strong guy man he can he can actually potentially drop Eubank and hurt him because Eubank is not really a guy who who is like a you know he's not an un, invincible untouchable guy Everyone's touchable, but like this guy's defense is not amazing. Like you know, he is pretty decent. He's pretty decent, but he he's a hittable guy. You know, his he's got a good defense, but it's, he's a hittable guy. He's hittable, and I'm just worried about the mid range because I feel like Eubank at times likes to be in the mid range as well. So I think he needs to avoid doing that. I feel like Eubank will win this fight though because I think like Arthur Abraham. He is only good coming forward, mid-range. He's very good at that. You know, he lets off combinations. He goes head, body and all that. But, you know, if you're boxing him, he doesn't really have too much boxing skills. If you're boxing him and you're backing him up, you can beat him. You can really beat him. And I feel like Eubank will be able to do that. We just don't know what... I mean, I don't know what the fight is going to come in like, but... Given that everything goes well, um, like the camps and everything, there's no hic- there's not too much huge hiccups in the camps. I feel like Eubank should be able to box him. And yeah, it, there won't be no stoppage, I don't think. Eubank might get dropped, who knows. Because it's like the style. Eubank has loads of things in his style that, can, that Arthur Abram can exploit. And that's why I'm kind of like, mm, what if... But, you know, I feel like Chris Eubank should be able to outbox him. Because, as I said, Eubank, he likes to show off and shit, you know, feign. Sometimes he leaves his chin out there, kind of lunged out there. And he might get caught like that. He can definitely go down if he gets caught like that. But at the same time, man, you never know, man. Eubank might just have a really good chin, even at a higher weight. But then again, I've never seen Eubank against a big puncher, even against a huge puncher, even at like a 160. Like I can't, I can't remember too many. I haven't seen too many of these people's fights, but I've seen. Them. I feel like I've seen enough to get this prediction kind of roughly accurate. I feel like Eubank will win a unanimous decision. He might be a little bit more cautious, and um, yeah, I feel like Arthur Abrams too one dimensional. He can only do one thing: literally bang hard at mid range. Like that's literally his whatever. Like if you avoid that and. Eubank has more assets and attributes in his game. I feel like he'll be able to use them and he'll be able to get the comfortable victory. Then we'll probably see a Super 8. But let me know what you think. I do think Arthur Abraham can win the fight. What Arthur Abraham has to do, as I forgot to mention, is keys to victory. He has to try back up Eubank. He has to try put him on the ropes. He has to... I don't like. I don't know how Eubank's gonna come in because it's not like I was gonna say he has to cut the ring off on Eubank, but Eubank might come to him. He has to try and counter punch. He has to probably work on counter punching. I hope he has. And he has to cut the ring off. He has to try and back him up. He has to let off those combinations. He has to go to the body because that's he does go to the body. You know, Arthur Abraham, and he has to go to the body of Eubank. Eubank really stays in shape. I've never seen him. In any picture, out of shape. Like even with a shirt on, sometimes you can tell the fighter might be a little bit overweight and whatnot. But Eubank seems in shape. He seems conditioned. Throws a lot of punches and uh, always looks like he's ready to throw all the like all at all time. You know, never looks extremely tired out. But if Arthur Abraham is able to go to the body. He can slow him down and Eubank, as I said, he needs to move around a bit more intelligently. He can't just sit there mid-range banging with Arthur Abraham. And, you know, when you hit to the body, your endurance dies out. Your guard might drop for that reason. You won't be able to move your body or your feet as much as you would like to. So, for that reason, he needs to go to the body. He needs to try and counter punch if needed because Eubank should try to back him up. That's one of the smart things to do, right? 
he should try back him up and he should try let Pontius go on the back foot. This will prevent, or this is more likely to prevent Eubank from trying to back him up. He should try box more maybe. Maybe if you're boxing more, maybe you're throwing the jab more, you're able to land the punches, the big punches. And sometimes he throws punches, you know, quite aggressively, which is, you know, it can work to his favor. But it can work against it as well because... Those punches, are requ- you know, it can gas you out a bit. And he has to be, he can't be too reckless with the punches. Otherwise, he can get caught himself and he can gas out. Or oh, another thing is Eubank can capitalize on the counters. You know, when Arthur Abram throws combinations, he seems open. And Eubank can catch him in the middle. This can actually, when you're catching him in the middle, you can, Eubank can be a decent counter puncher. Arthur Abram might just stop throwing those combinations in a reckless manner. You saw how Danny Garcia was able to, was initially, he was kind of like, he was throwing enough punches. I know he's a slow starter, but he was trying to throw punches and stuff. But then when he got caught with a few key them and hard shots, he was a bit more cautious. He, he, he thought twice before coming forward. And that's basically how you, how key them and took away Danny Garcia's, high work rate Eubank can do that by taking away like he can by counter punching he can take away Arthur Abraham's strongest asset which is to like punch in combinations hard punches in mid range so he might be able to take that away as well but yeah I feel like he would outbox him it, there can be some moments where it's like shit bad for Eubank but hey I personally think Eubank will win unanimous decision let me know what you think Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. 93 Boxing. I'm out.